Hello and welcome back, plain oxygen not included, to start eating twice the amount of calories, getting stressed out easily. Last episode I put in this deep freeze system, so we've got minus 50, so I've got uh, food that is frozen at this location. Now I'm going to install a metal refinery and deal with the heat that comes from that, because that produces a lot of heat. I'm going to put that right here. Then I'm going to have liquid pipe. Start off, let's see what I have for radiant. Let's make some, uh, avoid using lead, or, um, yeah, lead. Let's do some iron around the sides here in particular. We'll also have a liquid reservoir. Ultimately going to make one out of steel, but I don't have steel just yet, so I'll make that out of gold amalgam for the moment. Put that in the center. I'm going to feed liquid in and out of this one here, so that's going to be insulated pipe. So, insulated pipes made of ceramic. It's going to go like that. And here, I'm going to have two liquid bridges to kind of control the flow of things. I have one going up and one going over like this. And then the idea is, just make sure that I've got room here. Yeah, we're looking... I want to have a drop-off place for liquid that comes out of these guys. I could actually put that more center, so I think we'll, we'll be fine. So I'll have liquid going into this. To Let's make that out of iron from this point. And then from here, we can just make this out of regular pipe. So liquid's going to go in. If it can, it's going to feed into the machine. If it's not, it'll go over here. And then the liquid that goes out of here is going to converge here, getting priority, getting to go through this system. And we'll do iron from this point in. And the idea is this is going to be really hot liquid. So I want to radiate this in this area so it takes on all the, uh, so this area takes on the heat and transfers it to the seam turbines. So, dupes, let's get going. We'll be back when this is constructed. So the construction around here is now completed. So I have this radiant pipe that's going to go all the way through here. It's connected from this. So now I want to fill this thing up with petroleum. I need something that can get really hot. So petroleum will meet that needs. So it's going to go around the circle here. It will go into the metal refinery and then it will uh, exit this a as a much hotter material and take on the heat in this area. Now, before I do that, I want to have this thing filled about halfway, so about two and a half tons or so. When I reach that point, I can tell, I can, I'll tell the uh, refinery to stop producing petroleum, at least for that purpose. And of course, I also installed this insulated pipe to make its way to this area so I can get this thing filled up. So now it's fully circulating around. I just want to have a little bit more buildup of petroleum in here before I say that is complete. So at this point, I have over a ton of petroleum stored up in here. I was going to go for two and a half, but I'm thinking I might try to go with less this playthrough just to see if I can get away with that. If that's the case, let me disable this. That's the uh, oil refinery. Also, let me disable the spot where the dupes are emptying crude oil into here. Tell them to stop doing that for the time being anyway. And then we'll uh, let the last bit of petroleum drain in, if there is any. This is what there is. So I can now cut this at this point, and I think we're good to actually give this thing a test. The other thing is I built this little system here. I want to put some brine in there. That's going to be my cooling system because once those steam turbines start to get hot or deal with the steam, I'll need to keep the uh, top of them cool. So that's what this line is here. I'll eventually have another aqua tuner that's going to specialize in this and work pretty much the same way in the sense that I'll have it thermal sensor right here, detect whether or not the brine needs to be cooled or not. So now giving this a test, I'm generating some steel because I want to turn some of this equipment uh, into a thermal aqua sensor with a uh, steel. I want to change just the steel 
and create a second thermal sensor over here. So quite a bit of steel is being produced, it's going to generate lots of heat. So I can see petroleum is going in at 50, it's coming out at 180. So a lot of heat is going through, but by the time it's getting back, it's dropping back down to 50 degrees. Temperature here is shut up a little bit, it was in the 49, I think, when I started it. And now it's already 52, and I just have a few pieces of steel produced. I'd just like to give a special thanks out to Astrostar that mentioned a deep freeze system involving hydrogen steel gas pipes. Uh, that's definitely something I'm going to give a try in my next uh, playthrough because obviously this involves thermal aquatuner and this little bit of setup makes, uh, makes the deep freeze not available until a little bit later in play. So I'll give that a try in my next go. So now that I have enough steel to re replace the liquid reservoir, I want to drain all that liquid in there. That's going to be very hot liquid, petroleum, so I want to do that in this vacuum area to not interact with my base. Nearly to the point that, actually I can now start the process of destructing this. And then when I rebuild it, I'll rebuild this of steel. So now I have enough steel to make my second aqua tuner. I'm going to build that out of steel, put that right here. So now I'll have three elements, or th two uh, thermo sensors, or sorry, thermo aqua tuners made out of steel. I've got my liquid reservoir made out of steel and this thermo sensor as well. So after this is constructed, I can seal this off. It's currently 78 degrees, so other than this little area that's turning to steam just very temporarily, um, I'm glad it's on this side, not over this side where I have this opening. But once this is created, it's not going to take long because operator is sitting right there. I can close this off and never have to worry about uh, steam escaping. So, oh, okay, yeah, it's going to need some power. Forgot that bit. What, uh, maybe it's uh, too late now. I was going to put in one of the, make those one of those a power line. But uh, what I want to do is upgrade this to heavy watt conductive wire now that I haven't left myself this I have to go across which isn't the biggest uh, biggest concern don't want to make this out of lead I'll make that go across like that and then I can close this area off the reason um, so I'm not making that out of steel it's made out of iron I was going to say steel would be a little bit wasteful the reason I'm doing that is just for future proofing because this is just one of those areas that's going to be very difficult not impossible I have done it before with some petroleum and some steps but it's going to be very difficult to get back in here so I really want to double check that I've got everything made or the right material everything's connected the right way because once I seal this off and I'm now ready to do so I don't want to have to go back and it'll be very inconvenient. I have had to make that fix before in some of my playthroughs, and it is possible, but like I say, it's just going to waste lots of cycles, lots of time. So if I can avoid that from happening, that'd be awesome. So just going to make sure that the setting is here and that this is going to uh, go above and it is it's going to go in a loop so this is going to take the, or keep the top of the steam turbines cool especially when steam starts arriving here but in order to accelerate the transfer of heat on top of this let's dump some water at that location so this will be brine about 75 kilograms is what i'm looking for not enough to flood the steam turbines but enough to enhance the interaction between the radiant pipes the machinery and the liquid so basically heat from machinery is going to go to the liquid liquid will go to the pipes and that's what's going to keep these things cool so let's pause it here let's get a good view of the brine 43 as i mentioned i'll keep going up until i get about 75 and I think once I have this, this is going to do for my metal refinery and all the heat from the metal refinery, apart from the um, actual hot metal that's dropped off in the world itself, is going to go into here rather than my base. So if you haven't seen a previous episode, I had a metal refinery over here, actually destroyed it now that I have that one. And I had this pipeline of uh, polluted water go up and hot 
polluted water was going to go down. That had a slow heating effect down here. Well, I say slow heating effect. If I started producing steel and lots of steel, it would have warmed this up quite a bit. But not, I no longer will be warming up my outside world. It will just be this area over here. And now I can destroy these two things. The only thing I have to watch out for now is when the dupes are doing any work over here, they're going to be getting their feet wet. But I think this is pretty much it for this whole area. I've got something, a deep freeze that's going to keep my food cold. And here's ranch are going to go. Oh, of course, they're just destroying that. That's fine. I might make some sort of door so they can't get into this area, but that'll be a word with that later. Just before I leave it, because uh, I think that'll do for this episode, let's have a look at what's been going on Villa Lista while I was constructing that. So I've been building this, and I've got some blossom seeds. Haven't planted them yet, but I'll get the dupe that's over here to plant that, and they can start relying on food from that rather than the mealwood. And I've got lots of water, not just here, but I've got tons and tons of water within the world, actually, I can check. Keep an eye on how much water I have. 34 tons. And when I can have a rocket to visit back here, I'll bring more water with me. So I've been getting this, apart from uh, that, I've been getting this dupe to build this ladder and fire pole all the way down. In fact, maybe I'll just ex oh, yeah. So I, I was avoiding this area because that had zombie spores. So. Actually, maybe I'll, I'll do this now. I'll want to early start the process. Let's get rid of those uh, zombie spores simply by filling in the entire world. I can either pump it out, the air, or I could build tiles over it. Try and decide, is there any other zombie spores in the area? Not in the air there. Some in the air here. I think it might be because I don't have the infrastructure, pipes, and and power. It might just be easier simply to get the dupe to fill this in. Maybe that's something I'll do in the next episode, but I'll start it now. Okay, that's just getting rid of zombie spores. The other bit that they did in this episode is they built a path over here, and I destroyed the path to access over here. So anytime I want to make any changes over here, and I'm eventually going to be making steam turbines and that for this. This is getting up to 68 degrees. Uh, I'll have, um, excuse me, I'll have a path for the dupes to not be exposed to radiation on the way over here. And they'll have Atmo suits to be able to get up there. Actually, they'll need a little bit of a ladder to make it make their way up. So that's what's been going on over there. And you've seen what's been going on in the home world. This new system to produce materials. I'll want to produce some more steel because when I, oh, excuse me when I go back to the oily asteroid the desolins I'm going to want to take some steel with me I'll get this converted to steel and uh, also make sure to pack some plastic but that'll be in the next episode thanks for watching and see you next time